Okay, so unfortunately my previous race I had to discard just because the audio wasn't balanced right. So I'm figuring out that the ideal balance for me is about negative 15 decibels of um, audio for the sound in the game. So, just breaking very, very, very gently and using a professional trick <laughs> to get around the curb. See how I use that sausage curb to my advantage. Eat that sausage curb! Okay, I shouldn't shift down to one, as we've already determined, although that gave me good acceleration. So, now I've learned a bit about this track and can't quite get around this guy. Maybe I can get around this way. Yeah! Oh, I love that. I love this. <laughs> Being in that position. No, oh, don't go in first. I forgot. Oh. I, I had him and just hit him. Is the shift. Anyways, yeah. It, this car I like. The Giulietta is, uh, I don't know, I guess it sounds better. Oops, sorry. Sorry. Uh, that was, um, you know, a little push. This curb is slightly challenging as I completely break too late. I was too excited. I break too late. Oh dear. Okay, well, I guess the story of this race then is going to be getting around my terrible mistake. Because that was, I'm not gonna lie, that's really terrible. Um, yeah, that's bad. That's a bad mistake. That would take you out of a race if you keep doing that, which which I do. <laughs> which is why I play the simulator. I don't, I don't want to do this in real life. I don't want to hit the grass in real life. I want to look professional. But, I'm on a video, you know, just being silly, goofing around, having fun. So, it's challenging, I think, to maintain a good speed, yet, uh, you have to be just right on the throttle, you know, the accelerator, and it's interesting. I've been playing the more advanced cars, like the uh, Ferraris and so on. And it's interesting coming back to this, kind of the basics, kind of not responsive, not quick, uh, but, and not risky, not very risky, I mean, except for if you don't break, like I did last time, uh, but what I mean is it's not prone to snap over steer or just doing crazy maneuvers, you know, it doesn't feel stressful when you're going a straight line, I'm just going 165 and it, it's, it's not that fast. But, it's, it's back to the basics, you know, it's not much inputs, but the inputs that you do put in have to be perfect, I think. And that's what's interesting about this car. Now, I, I don't like it, I don't love the looks of it, I don't like how fast the car is, but it's interesting. It's interesting and I, I can see... Um, it's, I think it's also a better training tool because the technique is improved and you can pinpoint everything you're doing wrong. Whereas if you were in another faster car, you wouldn't necessarily even have the time to react. So it's a, an appreciable advantage. And I think also just by slowing the pace down, it makes the race a strategy technique really stand out because, as you can see, I was ahead of this guy, I was way ahead of this guy, but just because of my positioning, I wasn't able to get past him. And that's important. And also, it, it strictly is about momentum. It's kind of like driving carts, honestly, really heavy carts, because you don't have power. You're not able to accelerate. You can't accelerate out of a mistake. So. Yeah, 6 out of 8 position. I'm just trying to distract everyone from the fact that I'm 6th in this game. I don't know the breaking points by heart, and that's really the downfall of doing this kind of thing. But if you get it right, and you nail it, you, and you cheat a little bit, you can definitely get ahead of the pack. And uh, I felt like I had gained more than I actually <laughs> did in real life, which is interesting. So. This is an illustration of... Oh, this is an illustration of cheating! <laughs> the race stewards should be really angry at me. I should be getting black flagged for that. And um, 
That's kind of unfortunate, you know, in a set of course that there's nothing keeping you from making stupid moves, which I feel is not quite right. Because the, uh, like, like this, the AI will just do this to you with no consequence whatsoever, and it's so frustrating. It's just, it kills your race sometimes, and it's not any fun. Will confirm. Can confirm. Have been there, have definitely done that. I think for me, in this circumstance, four laps out of five. Two laps left, and with this distance, we're lucky if we make third. I think our best bet is to make up one more position. And I would like to, first of all, make the apexes. As you can see, I kind of missed the apex, and that's just what I was saying. You, you realize, even if you get in a higher level car, now I'm at about 92% AI. I was practicing with 93, but, you know, 92. Um, yeah, it, it shows you where you're not actually uh, going to the best of your abilities. You should be going from one edge, one, edge of the, one edge of the map to the other, one edge of the track to the other, and if you're not, it means you're wasting precious time. I just want to be able to maintain as much momentum as I can here on the last corner. So, as you can see, it's really difficult to make up time once you're kind of that far back. But there's one thing that's nice about being behind these guys is actually seeing where they start breaking. They don't remember the breaking points. You know, it's been a couple months that I've played this particular level. But I just gotta remember, ease off the brake pedal, and also make sure that I don't hit first gear, because first gear is the punishment gear. So in this case, it looks like, you know, I'm, I'm judging the pack and it's, it's really unfortunate that we don't have extra laps because it looks like the pack is fairly stuck together. Which means that the first guy in this pack is slower. And that means, well that allows me to catch up to everybody. But uh, we're on the fifth lap and unless a miracle happens I'm never going to make it to the blue car. So, that's a fifth out of eighth position. I would really like to make it to fourth position. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, this is the right breaking zone. No, I was too late. Okay, well, yeah, we've sacrificed a lot of speed by drifting out of this corner, which is terrible. So, nothing much I can do about that. And barring a miracle, I won't make it past anyone. So let me take this really slowly, try to concentrate through these turns, and maybe, maybe, I can dive bomb that guy. No, didn't quite make it and I won't be able to accelerate out of this. I would have needed one extra lap to kind of eat away at this guy. So, fifth position, which, you know, it is what it is. I guess I made up a couple laps. 